Welcome back. Here we have the Tire Changer 513B Protect Tire Machine. So the machine comes with the following accessories. Here's the owner ma owner's manual. Then you get these uh, inserts for the metal head that go here and here. Comes with uh, rim protectors for the jaws. Beat breaker. And also this adapter for to press the tire down. These two pieces for to rest it on the rim and while you're prying so you don't scratch or damage the rim. And the tire bar. And that's all the accessories. The 513B is a tilt arm, not a swing arm. Tilt arm is locked with this here. The air inflation um, pedal here. Push it halfway. And push it fully. The tilt arm. This locks and unlocks the mounting, demounting head, and then we have the jaws. Next pedal is the bead breaker. And then we have the motor. Down is forward. Is reverse. The main feature of this machine is the beat blast, built-in beat blaster. So you don't need a bazooka or a beat blaster. You just got this here. You have to press both, both. So this is the regulator, air regulator, and oil regulator. This is the water trap. Just turn it slightly to drain the water. Turn it back. And this one is the oil regulator. Make sure always the airline is disconnected. Open it by hand. And fill it with oil. Transmission fluid or hydraulic fluid. And then put it back. Tighten it by hand only. And then <coughs> every time you hit any pedal with air in it, it'll take one drop of oil and send it to the line to lubricate the seals and everything inside. So today we're going to be doing, doing a demonstration on a low profile tire, 225-40 R18. <coughs> so the profile is a 40 profile. So the bead breaker is adjustable, so you can adjust the angle using this here. Whatever angle you want, you like it, you can adjust the angle. So once we've broken the bead, we're gonna adjust the and lock the <coughs> mounting, demounting head. We're gonna use this roller and loop the tire.
insert the bar. And raise this roller here. Push it back out of our way. We're gonna use this. To push the beat of the tire down. Help us break the bead. Once you've set up the mount and demounting head, you don't need to reset it again. You can do your thing, clean the rim, or replace the valve if you have to. Putting the tire back, apply some bead sealer on the rim. So we're gonna lubricate the tire. So we gotta make sure that the tire is above the back of the demounting head when you're installing the tire and below the front of the head. We're gonna go ahead and spin. We're gonna use the three arms to help us. So as you get closer to the end, you wanna slowly Raise the tire, the assist arms up, and that's it. We will inflate the tire. Adjust the tire pressure to whatever it's supposed to be, depending on the vehicle or the manufacturer. And that's that. The beat blaster is for extremely narrow tires that are hard to uh, seal. And we're gonna show you how to use that here. Lubricate the tire. the beat blaster to install narrow tires. That's it. 